hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, in this video I'm going to show you guys a solution to eliminate the uh, bracket and stuff for the throttle cable um, if you're not going to be running um, cruise control stuff like that I found a way to run it and eliminate all that stuff I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now So I picked this up off of eBay. Um, it's for, uh, it's, it's kind of small, but I think they run this on the uh, ITBs or something like that. Uh, but it actually has the slot in it so that it fits over this and it actually locks onto this. And I'll put that in the video so you guys can see exactly what this is. Uh, the brand is PJS, I believe. All right. Also, you can see here the cable does not touch this little thing here, so you can leave it. I also picked up this bracket you see here off of eBay, also, and I'll put a uh, picture of that in there so you can see what that is. Looking at it here, I could bend the bracket inward or outward, or whatever I need to do to make this line up properly. Um, I also had to take off the throttle cable that was for the 22R and put this short one, this one's from a Mark III. It fits inside perfectly on the pedal and just runs right underneath here. Um, because this is in such of a bend, I filled up the tube with uh, like a grease or oil to kind of assist it and we'll see uh, how that works but so far it seems like it works pretty good I right, I have my son give it gas so you guys can see and it's actually perfect right where it is um, that's the pedal going all the way to the floor and it hitting the lock on this side. So if I figured that would help someone out, anyone trying to get rid of that giant ugly bracket that's sitting on top of here, figured I'd upload this video. I have other ones coming, but um, this is an easy one for me to go ahead and just throw up for anyone looking for this. It's a nice little easy fix. Here's a shot from the other side. Get a better view. Once I bolted it on, I was able to see just about how much I need to bend it. I haven't really tweaked it much. You can see I could bend it a little bit more to make sure there's no stress on the, on the uh, cable itself. But I mean, it's pretty much adjustable. You can get your fingers in there, use some small wrenches, and you can still adjust the cable as needed. So it's functional, it works pretty good. This uh, bracket is actually bolted on to one of the um, intake plenum bolts. So I didn't have to make anything up. I did have to drill out this bracket and make the hole bigger for that bolt to fit through it. But other than that, it fit through perfectly fine. So 